In today's video, I will explain how to use counter conditioning and systematic desensitization to reduce your host fear of a scary stimuli. In this example, Liviera was frightened of white and red tape that moved in the wind in the adjacent paddock. Her fear made it difficult for her to approach a fence closest to the tape or to go and stay on the yard and stable area directly opposite to the tape. This process is not about making the horse stand in the stable or yard area with complete disregard for her emotional state. This process is about genuinely reducing the horse fear and eventually having the horse stand in the yard and stable because she has nothing to fear, not because she has to or else. To reduce our fear, we use two techniques, systematic desensitization and counter conditioning. Systematic desensitization is a practice of reducing the strength of a stimulus by breaking it into smaller components using small steps to increase the animal tolerance to it. This may be done by making the feared stimulus quieter, further away, smaller, etc. One way this technique is used in this video is that instead of bringing the horse to the scary setup made of several flappy red and white tape, I introduce her to a single piece of tape in a space where she felt safe. I also initially showed it to her, folded it into my hand, and unfolded it only once I knew she was comfortable with the folded version. I held the tape to start with and only tied it up to the fence later on in the training session. It's only after she was okay standing near the flappy red and white tape in the safety of her own field that I laid her out on the yard for more counter conditioning. Because her fear had decreased at this point, the rest of the training was safer and less stressful for the both of us. So the other technique used here is counter conditioning. It consists of changing the horse's response to a stimuli by associating this stimuli with one of opposite value. Throughout the video, I offer food to my mare so she can associate the scary type with something pleasurable. When using counter conditioning, the horse doesn't have to perform any specific behavior to earn the food, as it is the stimuli we are counter conditioning her to that makes the food appear. Systematic desensitization and counter conditioning are very often used in combination with each other as it is very difficult to counter condition an animal to a stimuli she actively fears. In fact, many horses will not take food when they are too stressed. Hence why I only brought my mare to the yard stable area to feed her once I already reduced the fear in the field using both systematic desensitization and counter conditioning. In all, it took a 10-minute session in the field, a 10-minute feeding session in the yard, followed by a night in the field where she could get habituated further to the setup in the jet set paddock for her to become completely comfortable with it all.
I hope you enjoyed this video and that it taught you something on dealing with fearful horses. Do not forget to like and share this video and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. Don't forget to check out the Patreon link in the description below. Have a beautiful day and I see you in the next video.